Today is a holiday. This is our opportunity to clean the room of Eric. We have to eliminate the clutter. Tatanggalin muna natin lahat ng laman so we can really clean it properly. Off we go. There's still more marks. Everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is a holiday, so no classes. Pag walang pasok, this is our opportunity to clean the room of Eric. Kasi alam naman natin lahat that our kids are doing online school. And the minute they wake up or the minute Eric wakes up in the morning, she has to take a bath right away, dress up, and then pagkatapos nun, eh, diretso na siyang magka-class ng 8.40 in the morning. So there's no opportunity na mag-vacuum or mag -clean ng room niya until matapos yung school niya ng 2.40 ng hapon. After which naman, marami na ibang ginagawa. So parang konting linis-linis na lang. Hindi talaga nag-deep clean. You know, yung totoong linis ang hindi na, hindi na nagagawa yung totoong linis because busy kapag weekdays. So, tatlo ang online students ko dito sa bahay. Claudia College, Leon High School, Erich Grade School. So, sila ay kanya-kanyang kwarto sila para they have their own peace and quiet and they can concentrate. Pag yan ang nangyayari, the best time to clean is during holidays na walang paso o hindi kaya during weekends. So today, I'm going to share with you how we do it on a holiday, how to clean a children's or a child's room. Join me today! The first thing that we need is to gather all our equipment. We will open the purifier to purify the area. Of course, I have my vacuum. I've always used a rainbow and I've had this since talaga pa talaga ako. Hindi ito mismo, no? Siguro upgrade every 10 years. This is my favorite vacuum because all the dust and the dirt, it falls on water. And then, before anything else, we do some disinfecting, okay? So what we're going to do, we're going to disinfect na kami ng room habang magtatanggal kami ng clutter. Okay, so first order of business will always be Erich's online classroom. This is where Erich attends her online classes. So last year, we bought this from a mommy friend. Itong desk na to. Because before, she really didn't need a desk. Kasi all day in school. Tapos kapag naman siya eh, when she does her homework, it's always in our big dining table. So we had to buy her this chair that's good for her back and her posture because she's in class online sitting down the whole day. So the first thing to do is to disinfect the desk. Oh, you're very messy. Hi. Hi. Okay, so she just woke up and today's her chance to help clean. So first we gather all our good mga pamunas. Pour it sa akin ng good pamunas. And then I usually have a different kind of disinfectant spray. But this one, I like this. is really all not natural. So we'll do it first. So what we will do is portion by portion, top to bottom. So we have to remove it. Ah. We have to eliminate the clutter. Tatanggalin muna natin lahat ng laman so we can really clean it properly. So we are going to disinfect. Okay? Ganda lang yan. So easy. And then, clean. Ang ganda. So, you know, you choose a spray or that's, you know, good disinfectant that kills the germs and the viruses. And then, yung mabango pa. So, today, it's lemon scent. Si Erich kasi, every week, meron siyang parang bagong mga drawing-drawing. So, this is the best opportunity before it gets worse. Once a week to check for it, scrub it out. Sabi ko nga kay Erich, you know, you treat your desk the way you would in school. You have to keep it clean, you have to keep it neat. Kasi part of the lessons mo na yun, di ba? Part of your grades yun. Cleanliness, neatness. Ayan, okay. So, lahat ng banyo namin, meron akong ganito. Meron kaming maliit na palanggana na merong uh, scotch bright. Kasi kailangan tanggalin natin yung mga pink pink. Ayan. You see that? Ayan. O, oh, ganun na yan. So, tanggalin na natin bago grumabe pa yun. Erich naman is a very clean. Hindi naman siya kasi messy ng ka. But Erich kasi has so many toys na marami na kami na let go yung mga may sila-sila. She still refuses to let go for other toys kasi 
Ang dinadala niya, si Millie daw pumupunta dito. Alam na alam niya kung paano umakit ng stairs at dumiret siya sa kwarto ng kanyang Auntie Erich dahil alam na may wonderland of toys dito. So kaya we can't let go of some of the baby toys of Erich because naabutan na ni Millie. We put a plan. Sabi kasi nila, hindi dapat naka-focus yung bata lagi sa screen after every May mga 20 seconds na tumitingin sa ibang lugar. It's always nice when there is a plan na matitingin. Okay? And this is her project. See? Did you pass this already, love? Yeah. Okay, took a photo na. So sometimes it gets dark when it's not all that sunny. She needs extra light. This is an extra camera. Okay, so let's finish it up. I can see some neons, dental pen marks, pencil marks. Erich loves to create with her hands. She likes slime, she likes clay. So what else do you like, Erich? Painting, sketching. So hindi naman pa iwasan. Because, you know, we want her to be creative and we want her to be able to really express herself through her art. Alam mo, bata pa lang ako, gusto-gusto ko na itong ginagawa. When I start to clean, talagang ibig sabihin nun, is-is. Mag-i-is-is ako. So, I love doing this. So, we're almost done with our desk. Magtatapo na tayo ng mga eraser. Wait, 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 okay. Say hi first. Hi, vlog! Houston, we have a problem. Erich, what happened? Look, how dirty. Now we need a black bag. Okay, now you see this? I don't allow this. So we're going to start throwing. Erich, come here. We don't need this baby toothpaste. Erich, come here. Tell me what works and what doesn't work here. We're gonna throw and scrub. I'm going to teach you. Of course, this works, right? Okay, put this back in its proper place, the two crayons. Because you did this, you have to clean it. Okay, no, no, no. Clean it. Alright. Okay, go. Get the scrub. From now on, you're going to be in charge of your desk. Come on, squeeze it some more so it doesn't get so watery. Come here, let me show you how. You have to squeeze it so it doesn't get too liquid. Then you, you use a scrub, the green part, because we're removing crayon mark. You see this? You see what I'm doing? You have to put force because to remove this, can you see that the stain is getting out? You're gonna do this every week so that you won't any more mess it up. Okay, I'm gonna dry it a little bit so you can see. Get a new one, squeeze. Okay, go. There's still more marks. You have to do this every week yourself because if you know that you're the one who's gonna clean it, you're not gonna mess it up like this, right? Because, oh no! You mean I'm gonna clean it? So let's not mess it up. And you know what? May environment kasi na mas maganda sila mag-concentrate. It is clean. Diba anak? Ang nanginis. Masarap. Mag-work. Alright, so we are now at the part where we have to clean her toy shelves. Okay, so I will explain. Erich before always had sipon, always had ubo, so she had colds and cough. Kala namin she was asthmatic, so she was always naka nebulizer, she was always on antihistamines, she was always on mga gamot para sa asthma, and she even had medication na she was taking for many, many, many months. Until, you know, we consulted our pediatrician, referred us to an allergy specialist for children. So, nagpa-allergy test si Erich after, you know, kinakunayat muna nila yung kanyang allergy or yung kanyang asthma and ubo and minan. When she was totally without colds and cough, we took that opportunity kahit during the pandemic na yun, to have her take an allergy test. And when she took that allergy test, we realized kung ano ang allergies pala niya that were causing all of these colds and cough and, you know, nighttime snoring and all of that. So we realized that she was highly allergic to dust mites and dust and cockroach. Can you imagine? All the while we thought, ay, allergic siya sa aso, allergic siya sa pusa, kasi she loves her cat, uh, allergic siya sa chocolate, allergic siya sa kung ano-ano, hindi naman pala. It was dust mites. And I will show you here what dust mites are. I'm going to show you kung paano kung ang anak niyo man ay may maraming allergies and you still cannot tell kung ano yung allergy nila. It could really be dust. It could really be dust mites that you can find in your bed, in your pillows, in your comforters, in your sofa set, at sa mga stuffed toys. Can you imagine that? And Erich loves her stuffed toys. You see that? 
she really loves her stuffed toys because there's a story to tell with each one of them. It's either it was given to her by somebody she loves, like ito. This one, you won this in Santa Monica Pier in the State, in the Paranda Carnival, diba? And of course, this one was given to her by someone really, really special to her heart. Yan rin. Bigay sa kanya lahat yan. So, that tinatandaan niya yan. And she doesn't let go. Sabi sa amin ni Doktora, Oh, no more stuffed toys! So, paano yun? So, ginawa ko, binalot ko siya. But, nung binalot namin, na-realize ko, pag binabalot mo siya, ayan o, hinahawakan ko, napaka-dusty naman rin. So, I'm gonna show you what I do. And what I have discovered, pwede ko palang i-washing machine. It's ang stuffed toys ni Erich. And what makes this washing machine very special for cases like what Erich has, I will show you later. Tatanggalin ko itong mga stuffed toys, okay? From the plastic, alam mo, just by doing this, nalangatin na ako, I feel na nangangatin na yung aking ilong. Kasi kahit na nabalot ko siya, ah, sobrang dusty. I'm gonna make Erich choose. What can she do without? What does she need to really see na naka-expose nito? And for the rest, I will keep it in a parang a big, multi, yung ano, yung plastic na lalagyan. Yung parang orokan. We're gonna vacuum it. <laughs> Doing this, grab na yung katina ng ilong ko. Do you want to keep, right? Yeah. Okay, so to keep, meaning she leave it in the shelf. Okay, get the small ones that you want to keep that Millie plays. While she's doing that, okay, we're going to the bed. Okay, so ang bed ng someone, of course, naman tayo, no? With me kasi, I have a system at home. So every Sunday, lahat ng bed sheets ko, pillowcases and my towels are to be removed and then washing machine and dryer. Tapos every Saturday, si Erich naman ang ginagawa yun. Yung, yung we change her linen every Saturday ako, every Sunday. And then Monday, si Leon. And then Tuesday, si Claudia. So once a week, all of our linen are removed. And then habang wala, habang we know washing machine siya, that's when we disinfect the beds. We have a special vacuum to kill the dust mites. And then we also use the washing machine that I was telling you about. And I will be explaining. Because while in school, we will be doing the washing and the drying of her linen today. Kahit ilang beses pala natin talaga siya dinisen, talagang dust collector talaga siya. Yun, so my step is I vacuum it first para hindi magputek when I do scrub it. Diba? And then scrub. Nakita mo yung namungo talaga yung ano niya, o ano yun, so yung dust niya sa gilid. So it's really not good for the kids. So we're going to do this in every shelf. And as we go along every shelf, nagtatanggal na tayo, na realize natin, it's not needed. Para the next time we clean, mas mabilis, di ba? So Erich, what do you want to put back? Okay, like yan, si Erich. Let's leave a frame. Hindi kailangan maraming frames. This one came from her Nina. This one came from Chris in her school. She already has like a reading corner here. So we're going to fix it more. <laughs> so we've put Erich's stuff in mga lalagyan nila, okay? So every so often we really have to check on it and see kung meron ng dapat itapon. So katulad nito, this is her bin for her mga Wonder Woman. Basta yung mga dolls na ganito. Okay, so even if she's nine years old, I don't let go of it because sometimes it's good for her to play with those things. Mention role playing. This corner is all her toys when she was really less than a year old. So ito pang games. So why can't we let go of it? Because Millie knows this corner very well. So ito yung pinaka lowest shelf. And when she comes into the room, alam niya na kaagad. Pupunta siya dito dahil andito yung mga laruan that's age appropriate sa kanya. And then ito rin yung mga books. Okay, so nilinis na namin. 
to isa isa. So she loves this corner so much, so we're not gonna let go of it. We're gonna go ahead and vacuum her blinds niya. Okay, so kaya ito pinili namin before she had curtains and all of that. Kaya ito nang pinili namin because nga para mas madaling i-vacuum. Kailangan kasi si Erish everything din vacuum. We have been um, scrubbing the shelves now. Etong mga bins ko, ang gagawin ko, I'll go through it before putting back. Tapos doon, makikita mo, katulad ng mga ganito, mga hindi na kailangan project niya, hindi na kailangan, you throw. So while we're doing it, we're choosing yung mga things na hindi na kailangan, we can one by one start throwing. So these are the stuffed toys that I told you that I will have to do sa washing machine. Kailangan ko i washing machine and dryer. Okay. During the pandemic, in the middle of the pandemic, I have already told this story sa aking IGTV. So you can always go back and watch it. My washing machine and my dryer broke down. And I had to right away do an extensive research on what is the best washing machine and dryer that would best suit our family, especially in the time of pandemic. And we found LG AI. So I've had this for several months now and I'm very, very happy. Of course, there were so many functions that it had that made me happy. One of which, of course, is LG AIDD saves a lot of time. When you do your washing and you're drying, like the turbo wash can make you be done in 39 minutes. So less time spending for our laundry means more time for us and for our work from home. And of course, it's more energy efficient and of course, it causes less damage to our clothing and of course the LG technology has this special feature that I'm sharing with you and I'm highlighting today because it's a very important need in our family. Erich having all these dust mite and dust allergies that has caused her so much respiratory illness over the years ngayon na na-discover na namin kung ano yun nata-target na namin and this one has a feature that's called um, allergy care and steam that when they, the steam and the heat pump is starting to work it will kill 99.9% .9 of the allergens that's caused the dust mites. It will kill it instantly. So these are for clothes, for those with um, very sensitive skin, those with allergy, your baby clothes. And now today, I'm going to try using the stuffed animals of my kid because the doctor really said, Marjorie, tanggalin mo na mga stuffed toys. But these are those toys that it's so hard to part with. Erich has a hard time parting with. So once the steam works, it goes up to 60 to 65 degrees Celsius. So that's when that heat starts to kill all those nasty allergens. Okay, so I have already shown that I have already put the detergent and also the fat on. Okay, I'm gonna put this on. Okay, so we're going to put Erich's favorite stuffed toys. I'm gonna put this on. Very simple lang yan, ha? Allergy care. There we go. See? And then we're going to put in all of these. Okay, you're gonna feel there's gonna be heat and steam, and that's what kills the allergens. So amongst all the many features of this, this one is my favorite. Most especially because it really targets my daughter who needs it the most. So close and so it's going to start to clean all the stuffed animals of marriage towels, bed sheets, that's all important. So the LG AIDD, it targets all the allergy problems that our family has. It's good for all of us. I'll go back to cleaning and I'm gonna show you how it looks after. For headboard, we use leatherette para easy to clean, easy to disinfect. Kasi pag tela, Papahayan din yan ng dust mites. So first, we're going to change her bed sheets later. We're going to wash it. And now it's starting to smell really good. Do not ignore the spaces like this because that is where the allergy is. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to do this in the whole bed. So everything is clean and in order. So there is nothing like freshly cleaned stuffed toys. 
super bango. Nothing is dusty anymore. Yay! So after a few hours, natapos namin yung stuff toys and Eric just loving it and smelling it. Mabango ng amoy. It smells so good. The room smells so clean. The room has been disinfected, scrubbed, and clean. So thank you very much. So I want to thank you for joining me once again and I hope my napulat kayo some little tips on how to clean a kid's bedroom. And look at that. Even the shell, the books we transferred to the shell. Of course, Linda Carter. Thank you so much <laughs> for being there and cleaning. So these are the school books. Her desk, everything is clean. Are you happy now you can smell your stuff, guys? Yay. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Bye.